All right, pre-workout meal, um, clean cut meals, chicken, rice, um, and vegetables. I fuck, you have to go with carbohydrates in this pre-workout meal because um, I'm so broken from that finisher yesterday. So if you haven't checked out that vlog from yesterday, go check out that finisher. Um, I, I literally need carbs today. That's <laughs> so good. Um, I think they've roasted the veg and whatever the sauce is on that chicken, that's really fucking good. Um, that's clean cut meals. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, just to give you guys a little tip, I always talk about audiobooks and the listen to my audiobooks on my walk. I always listen to podcasts um, while I'm eating meals. It's just a good way to double over. I know um, Ty Lopez, who I follow, is a big fan of reading while he eats. I can't read and eat at the same time. I just lose concentration um, on whatever I'm reading or I can't focus on my food and then you just end up massively overeating. Um, but I always play a podcast. So I either listen to like Entrepreneur on Fire, Ty Lopez, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, one of their or YouTube videos um, I find very good. Whoever I follow on YouTube that's supporting me on whatever journey I'm on at the time. Um, YouTube videos and podcasts are the kind of the things that I listen to always during every single meal um, just kind of it keeps me on track they're generally my meals are like breakups from work and um, when I'm doing programs and plans so they just tend to keep me focused and keep me um, again we, we have a TV I have a big screen TV in the house it doesn't get turned on until I have Holly with me on Friday mornings um, and then we watch some movies on Sunday evening the two of us and it doesn't get turned on apart from that um, not because of any other reason other than it's not there's nothing on TV that's going to support me and what I'm doing um, so during my spare time and downtime, I try and listen to audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube videos, and people that support me in whatever journey, health, wealth, love, happiness, whatever it is that's supporting me at the time. Um, so that's my little tip that you know might help support you is find the people that are going to help you with whatever it is the path you're on at the time. Um, and then, you know, use your spare time to consume their information and just, you know, feed your own brain. Remember, thoughts become things. The things you put into your head become the thoughts that you have and become the person that you become. Uh, for some reason, um, Paulie seemed to have take, has taken my head off for uh, <laughs> for my back workout. Um, so I just did a little bit of hypertrophy bodybuilding work at the start of the workout, uh, similar to yesterday, just two moves superset um, for back, and then I went straight into the, the finisher. Um, myself and Paul, the head trainer Paul, doubled up for this. Uh, it's three moves, barbell thrusters, uh, dumbbell burpee push-ups, and dumbbell bent over row. So we did the ladder for it. So uh, 3 3 3 6 6 6 9 9 9 all the way up to 21, 21, 21. Um, check out my Snapchat for the whole thing. I was absolutely dying at the end of this, but it was awesome. That workout was absolutely brutal. Um, it's about 30 degrees today, so I felt every little bit of it. I uh, about took into my post-workout meal uh, from Clean Cut Meals, which is sweet potato and chicken. So 30 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, um, kind of keeping that kind of system uh, for the week of training. So check out Clean Cut Meals. I'll put the link in the description. Um, Stay tuned for the next hey guys, Okay, I think I'm going to use uh, my walk to close out this vlog. Um, if you follow my Snapchat, BrianK019, uh, you can see that I just downloaded the Will Durant book, The Greatest Minds of All Time, uh, where he talks about Confucius and Bacur Copernicus and Plato um, and some of the best philosophers of all time. You know, for those who've been following me a while, you know that I've read Plato Republic and Confucius is one of my favorite um, you know, Chinese philosophers. You know, his famous quote, those who believe they can and those who believe they can't are both usually right. Uh, it's one of my favorite quotes of all time. Um, but it just got me thinking about Bruce Lee <laughs> for some reason. And one of his quotes that just resonated with me as I was listening to this book, um, I never really understood it, but he talks about, uh, I don't fear a man who practices one kick or practices a thousand kicks for one day. I fear the man who practices one kick for a thousand days. Um, and just whatever it was in this book triggered that in me. And I understand it now about being consistent. Um, I always loved the oak tree analogy. It's like to knock an oak tree, you can hit an oak tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots and it doesn't do anything. But if you hit it a thousand times in the one spot, you'll knock it over. Um, and it just got me thinking about, you know, trying to achieve great things in life. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you're being consistent with it and continuing to strive forward with it. Um, you know, be the one kick a thousand times. You know, I know this when you're trying to build a business and trying to build a life and trying to build a physique or whatever it is, you know, be consistent with it. You know, be the be the one kick a thousand days, you know, go to the gym, do a little bit every day, you know, read a small bit of an audio book or listen to a small bit of an audio book or read a small bit every day and you know and fill your mind with those things um, and be consistent with it so just wanted to share that um, because it literally just came to me the Bruce Lee quote and it finally the penny dropped and it made sense to me um, so hope this vlog helps 
I rem again, thanks again for everyone watching. Um, any comments you have, put them down below. Um, I'll put the link in the, down in the description in YouTube or in Facebook. Um, and just let me know what you guys want to see. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch up with you soon.